Hey everyone, this is Lara from Light Goes By Lara. I am the Tigress of the Light and I'm doing this video for you today because it is the eve of the beautiful lunar eclipse for November 2021 um, and this is going to be in Taurus and I thought that we could use some good light language for this one. Eclipses are super powerful so we want to make sure that we have our good in intention set we want to be illuminating, um, bringing consciousness and awareness to that which we are wanting to re release within our lives, as well as what we want to be cultivating. So let's get some light language going for this moon. Um, as always, our light language is channeled through the heart space in the highest good for all. And all you have to do is relax and receive. And if you can think of some of those things that you want to let go of and some of those things that you want um, to bring in to maybe greater abundance, then this is the time to do so. And we're going to speak the light language um, around all of that. And as needed, we will translate um, into English, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes spirit really wants us to know what's being said and sometimes it's better just to receive the energy. So just bring your attention down to your feet. This is going to help ground us. I'm going to connect with beautiful Gaia, Mother Earth, nice and supportive. Taurus is a very grounded sign, so let's be nice and grounded for this one. And we'll also bring our attention to our heart space. This will just help us to receive the light language in the most conscious way, because after all, it's way more fun to be conscious. <laughs> all right. Slowing in the breath down. <sighs> Settling. Amazing lunar eclipse. So Kranata la la I see a tutka passata, yatka papa say a tolono mata. So Hanati a tissa catapapa salana no eta paki and a solo no mama sea. So Hani tacata no do cosam patala, toka passalo, toka passi a cho, toka passata. So Kranapati a toka rata to tolono no ma see a tana harata, die say a toto. Sahanita satoka pasia tanando potasia takana tia tatuka satata lona namata la lana isia tuka pasata so hana tatalana to sofana papasa. So use this moon also to become more aware and connected to the energies of Gaia. So we can often get a little bit confused as to how we should best connect with these energies because the energies of this of this planet are very multi-dimensional as are we but a key aspect of living life on this planet is the physical nature and many of us if we're very sensitive people have um have an easier time being in the more energetic higher finer realms than in the more dense and physical realms. We find it more comfortable to be in the higher, fire, finer vibration than in the denser physical realm. So this moon gives us uh, an opportunity to tune in more deeply with what it means to be human in this physical realm and the importance around that. And the importance around this is that we as light workers are being called to integrate, to attract, to pull in, to manifest, create higher energy, more pure, more clean, more, more ascended energy, as we say, um, to raise the vibration of this planet. But we have to do that through the physical level. So we can't stay up in the high fine stuff because the planet needs us to anchor the new energies in as light workers. So we need to be able to have that range of being in the density and also in the high fine. If you're a light worker and you're in the high fine, you know how easy that is for you. Now is the time. Use this moon energy, this lunar eclipse energy to focus your intentions for being able to connect more deeply to the, the um, material realms. Remember Taurus is about material, right? Taurus is very materialistic and, and connected to um, this 3D aspect, okay? It doesn't mean that you lose the high, high fine abilities. You don't lose that. You're accentuating it 
by being able to anchor anchor it more deeply and more profoundly to the these lower levels without being um, derogatory about lower vibrations because the lower vibrations are useful okay that's where we are we have to be in these these vibrations as well so I want you to be breathing with that as you continue to work with your other intentions and aspirations and um, energies that you are wishing to release and embrace. So so along with all that what's being said we are also um, at this time being called to open ourselves up to be a greater channel for the energies that are needing to come through at this time and to be anchored onto this planet. So if you are ready, willing, and able to receive this, this opening, we are going to offer it to you now. If it is not appropriate for you in your highest good, then understand that this is a blessing and a healing in its own right. And your body, your being is going to work with it in the most appropriate way for you. That's the truth for all of us as we receive this. So na patata da da na isi yetu ko sa papa sa yetu ko sa no tata. So ni neno mo tapa to ka mata taya sa na so ka na tata ya sa na to ka pasa tala na no ta ka pasi yata tia so kyo no ka pata da da yusno pa la na na da na na isi yata da to ko shute kisi and ka to ko pata na. So these energies um, that we are being asked to bring in, of course, are going to mostly be happening on the unconscious levels. They're going to come in and they're going to expand through us um, in, in out through our field. We're just going to be radiating it and and the importance of continuing to ground, continuing to connect with, with Mother Earth is quite important, um, especially with the chaos these days. So we become a stabilizing force. The importance of grounding, the importance of grounding. If you feel yourself being overly anxious, if you feel yourself being unstable a little bit, flighty or a little not so anchored this is your call this is your key to be grounding 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 and getting as deep into the earth as you can connecting to the elements of the earth especially earth and fire less air <laughs> air is more etheric and as light workers we tend to be good at the etheric so again anchoring down anchoring down being comfortable using plant energy use your house plants use your trees to help teach you how to be more grounded and present in your body so you can feel have the greatest opportunity to feel the energies that are coming through and understand that they are energies to come through to be emitted out they aren't necessarily for you they aren't necessarily your energies we're being called to be a vessel so understand that this is part of what's going on and if you're feeling anxious about things and you're a light worker and you're watching these videos, it's probably because you need to know, understand what's going on. We need to anchor so that we can just do our job as being this lighthouse um, and enable, being able to translate the information that's, or 
the energies, the information and the energies that are coming through from, from the universe at this time to raise the vibration of this planet. So kama pala na no bisi ya tu kubasa la la no kampa tia sa ya tu kubasa so kana tata la no masi ya tu kia no kubasi ya tu na tata la la to kama si ya tu kubasa so no matter how crazy the energies appear to be in the times ahead, remember that you can take command of your energy. No matter what's going on in the external world, you have command over your own energy. So heed this message to take responsibility for your energy. Whatever that takes, whatever that means to you, whatever it is that you need to do to be cultivating your energy body, to be connected to it, to be grounded, to be anchored to it, to the planet, and being strong and stable within yourself because then you won't be swayed and wavered so much by what's happening in the external world. Then it's quite chaotic. It's quite chaotic and we're all dealing with it and we're all doing the best we can, but how we survive this better with greater ease and actually with fun, with, with, with joy and like, oh, look what's happening over there now, wow. You know, when we can get into that mode, that's when we really are mastering the times that we are in. And you are all capable of doing this with so much ease. So sometimes we need a little assistance to get there and maintain it. Sometimes that needs to happen. So we seek help from others. But ultimately, we want to be getting in a place where we're super strong. And we can be working away and working away and getting, being that open channel and emitting that good energy out. And being anchored and being a witness to what the world is doing all around us. So use this, this lunar eclipse now to release the energies that are no longer serving you, knowing that this is part of your mission. Knowing that part of your mission is to be in these times and to be a channel for higher frequencies to come through, to be anchored on this planet. Use this moon to help set you up for the most successful version of yourself in doing your job as a light worker in these times. Never forget you are fully supported and loved and there is so much gratitude for every one of you who are here and taking on this monumental, amazing, exciting task. You're part of the great task force of the great awakening, the great transition time and it is with honor and gratitude that we serve the, this planet, we serve the universe, we serve love. So all blessings to you on your journey with this. Remember to have fun. Remember to bring forward your light and be a witness to, to the world. Be a witness to how you're handling it and be a witness to what's going on out there. And try not to take it all so seriously. You're fine. You're amazing. You are so supported. Let's trust this entire process. Wow. Well, that was a quite a message, wasn't it? Um, thank you so much for being here, for playing your important role. Remember, you're here because you're needed. And reach out if you need support. 
through this. Um, we all need support from time to time, but I know that you have every ounce of capability to work with these energies. So stay calm, stay in the process. You know, um, when energies come up, breathe with them, release them. Don't attach to them. You don't need to attach to them. Okay, sometimes you'll be processing your own. Sometimes you'll be processing others' energy. But either way, there's no need to attach. There's no need to judge. Just notice it. Feel it. Whew, let it go. Let it go with your breath. All blessings on your journey. And we'll see you again very soon.